Hi everybody, it's Luther Benson, broker owner of Access Real Estate Professionals again. And today I wanna to talk about the seller's property disclosure. The seller's property disclosure is referenced in the Colorado Real Estate Contract and states the seller will fill out and provide a current version of the form to the buyer. It asks a lot of questions about what's working, maybe not working, as well as any problems that are current or in the past that the seller has actual knowledge of. Note that the real estate brokers are not allowed to fill out the form, it must be the seller. Sellers should disclose any actual known material defects and also disclose any new ones that come up between the time of contract and closing. When you think about it, this is, it actually protects the seller. In example, let's say the seller disclosed that he had a small roof leak, but had the repairs done and it hasn't leaked anymore and provided a receipt to the buyer. If the roof leaks in the same spot after closing, the buyer will have difficulty going back on the seller because he believed the issue was taken care of. But let's say if the roof leaks and the seller didn't disclose and say the neighbor was chatting with the buyer, for example, and says, oh yeah, the seller had problems with that roof leaking. Well, now the buyer may have legal recourse against the seller. So you see how that works. I have investors renting their property that say they don't want to fill out the form because, well, they never lived there. This is a big mistake. They know if they've had any repairs done and must disclose any of those issues. Remember, as always, you can find all homes on the web at lutherbenson.com. Tell everybody.